Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by our friends at Fusillo Kia of Cape Coral. This morning, we'll tell you about a sad fate for a famous Marco Island eagle. Nabor's recent report suggests a surge in luxury sales in the Southwest Florida area and more. Today is Wednesday, February 28th, and this is the Morning Report. A bald eagle from the Marco Island Nature Preserve and Bird Sanctuary died Sunday night after colliding with power lines. It's believed that by 8.30 p.m. on Sunday, the male eagle named Paleo made contact with the power lines and was killed. According to a Facebook post on the organization's website, the FWC was contacted and helped to coordinate the removal of the bird. The post thanked the community of conservation-minded citizens and continued support for the organization's mission. Paleo was part of a breeding pair of bald eagles who currently have two babies in the the nest. Local volunteers will help to monitor the nest and the movements of the remaining parent. That eagle, who is believed to be the female Calusa, has been seen in and out of the nest feeding the eaglets throughout the day. The organization also coordinated efforts with local volunteers to schedule monitoring of the nest during daylight hours. A surge in the sale of luxury properties has helped sales figures for homes in Collier County during January, according to a new report from Nabor out Monday. While home sales are down nationwide 4.8% as compared to January of last year, in Collier they are up 11% with 671 homes sold as compared to 603 in January of 2017. Sales of luxury homes, those above $1 million, skyrocketed with a 123% increase over January 2017's total. Jeff Jones, managing broker for Engel Volkers in Naples and Bonita Springs offices, speculated that recent changes in tax policy may have motivated high-end buyers to get off the fence and purchase luxury homes that have been sitting on the market for the last few years. The overall home market inventory in Collier dropped 5% in January during this time last year. A lack of inventory has been one of the factors contributing to rising home prices and rental costs throughout southwest Florida. The Naples market has had a rise in inventory in recent months, but the Naples Beach area has seen a 21% decline in inventory for single-family homes, which some analysts say could be due to a rush of speculators purchasing in the area. For more information about the Nabor report, check out NaplesHerald.com. Ford Motor Company is making Miami-Dade County its new test bed for self-driving vehicles. The automaker and its partners are starting pilot programs to see how consumers react to autonomous and semi-autonomous vehicles. Self-driving startup and Ford partner Argo AI already has a fleet of cars in the area, making the highly detailed maps that are necessary for self-driving. Ford also will establish its first ever autonomous vehicle terminal in Miami, where it will learn how to service and deploy its test fleet. More services will likely be introduced as the partnership goes on, including Chariot, an app-based shuttle service owned by Ford. The city of Miami is the fifth most congested in the U.S., according to a recent traffic study, and after more than a century of selling people vehicles, Ford now wants to figure out ways to move people more efficiently in order to cut down on that time in traffic. Ford won't say how many vehicles it will have on the road in Miami-Dade, but says it will be Ford's largest test bed for autonomous vehicles by the end of this year. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Bree Walling. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.